Alright guys, so we have some pretty disappointing news here and I really wish this wasn't true but it seems like it really is because it's officially on the Tesla website. Tesla says that they are voluntarily doing a recall which affects FSD beta users and people who haven't even gone into the program yet. Now with whatever Tesla says, we do know for sure that this has to do with the NHTSA and their recent recall notice. There's been a lot of issues going on the last couple months with NHTSA and how they're viewing FSD beta. You guys already know how much the White House hates Elon and they're working on a bunch of different things and although it looks like Elon and Biden made some kind of peace treaty it doesn't really affect the National Highway Traffic Authority the NHTSA is still a different governing body although I do live up in Canada and rely on Transport Canada as our governing body versus NHTSA down there however they're practically the same in the realms of North America they just want the best reliability and safety for drivers out there now unfortunately because of the way Tesla is advertising FSD beta and FSD in general is starting to cause a lot of the governing bodies to doubt what Tesla is advertising. Now, although I am a Tesla fanboy, I do know what's truth and what's not. And I know Tesla has been touting that their FSD or FSD beta can go from LA over to New York just a few years ago. However, it's 2023 now and we're still not seeing any signs of it. So I guess this is where it causes such a big problem with consumers and now even the traffic authorities is putting their weight on it. The ultimate reason really is that Tesla is advertising it in a way where it feels like this is level five, although it's only at level two self-driving right now. Now, it really shouldn't even be calling it self-driving when it's level two, but the thing is, Tesla advertises FSD beta as some sort of self-driving software. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna fight against that and say that Tesla is not really advertising self-driving. And their main intention with FSD beta is really just a driver assistance right now and you have to take full responsibility. But the name itself is full self-driving. So that is quite deceiving on its own. But anyways, this time around, it seems like the NHTSA has really taken it up on Tesla to make them do whatever is necessary to no longer deceive customers. So that's the real reason for this recall notice and you guys will see it directly on tesla.com here i will drop a link in the description below uh, that will be the link directly to tesla and all their explanations as to what's happening with fsd beta essentially what's happening right now is fsd beta is breaking some laws in certain states it's running red lights it's not stopping at stop signs and it's disobeying the traffic laws now the traffic laws could be no turn on right it could be to obey the speed limits up to the certain point and it seems like Tesla's not taking that into consideration and they're just going along with whatever the software is allowing it to. Now, being that the law is the law and you have to obey it, it seems like Tesla took an approach where they're trying to go against the law without really breaking the law. If you guys can remember back to previous months where your Tesla would just roll stop signs and that is essentially called the California stop, but Tesla had to remove it because the NHTSA forced them to. Now, instead of obeying to that law, they decided to do it in a different way it essentially stopped and the odometer would show that it's at zero kilometers per hour however the vehicle was slightly moving so that's really a technique that Tesla's been doing and if you guys do have an FSD beta car right now you'll notice that the car doesn't fully do a complete stop to really be considered a full stop from a human driver the vehicle has to stop at least for half a second to a second now in this case the car registers zero miles per hour on the speedometer however the car is still moving somewhat so that's kind of a way that Tesla's doing it oh yeah and I do apologize I keep calling it odometer instead of speedometer but yeah speedometer so yeah overall that's what tesla has been doing and i think this time around it's going to be a lot more serious than what it was previously now overall that's pretty much what's highlighted on the website it kind of lists everything that's going to be happening to your vehicles and if it's going to be affected you guys can search up your specific bins if you even have fsd beta but those are the things that tesla needs to fix in a future software update and i think this is not going to be one of those software updates that's going to happen immediately in the back of your guys' mind you might think hey tesla could just update their software and their codes to just stop at stop signs and stop at red lights and no longer going above the posted speed limits so all of this sounds quite simple and it's something that Tesla has been doing a lot of other companies has been doing an over-the-air software update and that seems to resolve all the issues however this time around it seems like it's gonna be a larger issue than you think it is and it seems like this is the reason why they are making a whole statement about it on the Tesla website now if I can recall correctly in California you can no longer use full self-driving in the name of the software unless it is full self-driving I don't know what the progress of this is right now but there is so much going Going on in the realms of just full self-driving in general with Tesla that something has to happen here and Tesla really has to make it clear to customers 
that their vehicle is only level two. Now in terms of the SAE ratings, there is a scale from level one up to level five and in some cases level six. And it shows where your progression is with self-driving level one being pretty much it's no self-driving at all. And level six means that it fully is automated. And being that Tesla is level two right now, there is no scenario where they can call their software full self-driving and get away with it. But anyways, that's what's happening right now in the US. However, because Canada is part of North America, and this is the only two places where self-driving is currently active with FSD beta, they're clumping us up together in one bulk and they're disabling US and Canada full self-driving beta. Now they made it pretty clear on their websites that current owners with FSD beta already on the vehicles will not be affected. And it's only going to be those that don't have FSD beta that have opted in. They are no longer going to be considered for FSD beta until a new software fix has come out. So I guess those of you guys that do have FSD beta already in your car, you can use the current state of it and there's not going to be any future improvements until maybe full self-driving beta 11.3.2 but even that's going to be a stretch because of what's going on right now and it possibly could be any future iterations after 3.1.2 now we've already seen that version 11.3 is a major improvement over any of the previous fsd beta builds but unfortunately i don't think this is going to come out at least until they bundle the fixes into a future update and now keeping in mind that they had to release a full statement of what's going on with fsd beta i'm sure there's a lot of legal things going on in the background that's causing them to do this and that means that a lot of things are going to be delayed they are not going to be rushed to push out 11.3.2 anytime soon and if they are they are gonna make sure that it's gonna come out right now for most people i think you guys are pretty safe right now you still have a version of fsd beta i only really feel bad for those of you guys that don't have fsd beta that just recently opted in throwing fifteen thousand dollars down the drain or twenty thousand dollars in canada and you guys get nothing out of it except to wait even further it just makes you feel like like you've been scammed it makes you feel like you joined fsd beta program in the early days where you had to wait for the safety scores to go up to 99 before you even get considered now on the bright side here is that a lot of you guys that have been asking for fsd beta subscription in canada you really don't have to wait any longer because it's not going to provide anything anyways. You're essentially just going to get typical navigate on autopilot, summon. If you even have a 2023 car, you're out of luck. Auto park is not going to even be there. So there's just so many things that it's not worth the subscription right now anyways, and it's better off just to wait. But yeah, all in all, with all this chaos going on, I know there's a lot of other products and other things you guys are more interested in. I will be making videos on those as well as what's going on on March 1st. I'm sure we're going to get some kind of new information on what's going on with hardware for the Cybertruck, Optimus, and a bunch of other things. So uh, I will keep you guys updated on all of that. All you guys need to do is just hit the subscribe and the bell notification. And while you're at it, please hit that like button as well. This is John. This is it. Once again, peace out.